Pierre? How are you? Good, how are you? So tell us a little bit about the 2019 vintage. Tell us just quickly, like what it was like the growing season. Well, the growing season, the, the winter was not really, uh, really cold. The uh, spring was quite humid, uh, but it was okay. Uh, the flowering has been done uh, very nicely uh, in a few days, but uh, we were a little bit worried because it was quite uh, raining at that time. And then the, the summertime was really, really beautiful, uh, sunny, but very hot. We had some days above uh, 39 degrees, like around the 23rd, 25th uh, July but it lasts quite some few days. Uh, but I think on the, on the clay and shock terroir, uh, uh, thanks to uh, the, the, the capacity of absorbing the, the water and the humidity to keep that, uh, the vines uh, have not been really affected. Uh, it was maybe a, much, a bit more difficult on the gravelly soils and the sandy soils uh, due to these uh, hot weather uh, conditions. And then we had some few rains. A uh, little few in the middle of August, so the very zone has been done nicely and properly. And then, uh, you know, the marathon is ending uh, always September and October, so the, the ending of the season has been very nice. So we were a little bit afraid with Axel to, to avoid this, um, uh, this high, leg, high alcohol level, so we, we decided to harvest quite earlier so that to keep uh, really the, the freshness into the wine. Let's taste a few of your wines now. So the first wine we have is the uh, Chardonnay. Yeah, Chardonnay, Camille. 2019. What I found, well, for example, with this Chardonnay, it shows very um, clean fruit. C'est très uh, transparent. Uh, right. But at the same time, it's fresh and clean. And I think that's a really nice balance to the wine, considering the heat uh, during the uh, summer, it's extremely fresh, and it suggests yeah. that the pH is um, relatively low. There's good acidity there. Yeah, nice. because uh, for the Chardonnay, we have the chance to have some uh, um, limestone and uh, stone, stony character, so that has limited this, uh, this effect, indeed. Okay, good job. Let's try the uh, red now. Now we have the Camille. Camille Rouge. Yeah. Remind me on that, uh, the, are those grapes you buy or is that from your estate? No, no, uh, this is outside our estate. Uh, Camille, uh, we have 80% uh, Merlot and 20% Cabernet Sauvignon. It's already uh, very delicious. Like, when will you bottle this? It's so good already. Well, it will be bottled uh, around uh, September, October, but we will keep after uh, the, the wine in the bottle before releasing because we want also to keep uh, the aging in bottles in our setup before releasing to the market. So as far as the 2019 vintage, what strikes me about the wine, and this is a wine from, you know, it's not from Grand Terroir, but it has really nice fruit, balance, yeah. Is that very typical for the vintage for like satellite appellations or Bordeaux, Bordeaux Superior? Uh, it's uh, something easy to drink, you know? Yeah. I haven't tasted so many at 19 so far, but uh, the, the way we discuss with other friends, uh, uh, it will be, I think, uh, a vintage where people have to taste uh, depending the areas, because I think the impact of the heat has also impacted after on the maturity on the wines. And with Camille de la Brie Red, uh, really the focus was really to be very much uh, focused on the fruity side and not go on to the over ripening. Yeah. Well, let's l try the Croix de la Brie. Chateau Croix de la Brie. It's almost 97% uh, Merlot. 3% Cabernet Sauvignon. What I think is interesting about uh, this wine, well, it has incredible uh, depth and intensity, say super profond and intense, but at the same time, uh, there's so much character at this stage, that black olive, the uh, mushroom earth, 
And even on the nose, normally with barrel samples, you don't get a lot on the uh, nose. And this time it's like crazy, super ouvert, and, you know, open and exciting. That's, a, that's really uh, special for a young sample, no? Once we have started the harvest, we saw the grapes were so beautiful. The skin was indeed very deep, so we knew that the volume was not going to be tremendous, but the color and the intensity that we had in, in Croix de l'Abri 2019, Axel was saying, she said that, for me, this is one of my most beautiful vintage. It's so complex. It really has so much energy, and you taste it, it just keeps on changing all the time, and then the texture is so beautiful. Me, uh, or do you think? Do you think it's is it a really special year for Merlot, or is it just in general just an excellent year? Like this really shows the great. You know, Merlot is it, the best Merlot in the world. Uh, comes from particularly the right bank of Bordeaux, and this really shows the character. Everything from dark fruits to minerality to spices to black olives brown sugar so complex i think the the key of the vintage for for the right bank uh, maybe the as we were seeing at first with axel is uh, to be precise on the date of the harvest so that to keep this fruitiness and this density into the wine not to wait i think too long otherwise you will start to be on the over maturity. Okay, look, um, great tasting. I really enjoyed the wines. And overall, I think they had a, all the wines from white to red, a real precision, balance and harmony. So um, thanks for sending the samples. Felicitations, congratulations on some beautiful 2019s. Merci, okay. James. Ciao, merci. Bonne chance, à très bientôt.